Slam Blocks Nation, welcome back to your favorite corner of the gaming universe, Slam Blocks. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into a topic that's sending shockwaves through the Roblox community. Imagine this, a staggering 1 billion players can no longer step into the immersive world of Roblox. What's the story behind this colossal disruption? Buckle up, Slam Bloxers, because as we unravel the mystery behind 1 billion people are now cut off from their beloved Roblox adventures you might be surprised. Before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's wrap our heads around the sheer magnitude of the situation. Picture this, one in every eight individuals on this planet is now facing unprecedented challenges in accessing Roblox. Yup, you heard it right, a jaw-dropping one billion players worldwide are grappling with restrictions and bans that have reshaped the landscape of online gaming. Now, let's embark on a journey to understand the global impact and the reasons behind this gaming exodus. Before we dive into the bands, let's shed some light on a positive note. Our friends up north in Canada and across the pond in the UK experienced a unique event. Players were treated to a 10% discount on Robux purchases, a rare moment of joy for these lucky gamers. Showcasing that amidst the bands, there are occasional positive surprises. Now, let's unravel the first layer of bands, loot boxes. Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany have all cracked down on Roblox games featuring loot boxes. These bans driven by national regulations against the gaming mechanic collectively affect a staggering 28.5 million players. It's a harsh reality for those in these countries who find themselves unable to access certain Roblox games due to these restrictions. Belgium, with its 11.5 million inhabitants, implemented a specific ban on Roblox games with loot boxes. This means that players in Belgium miss out on a range of games on the platform. The question lingers. Are these restrictions protecting players or are they limiting the gaming experience? The Netherlands, home to 17 million people, faces a similar ban on Roblox games featuring loot boxes. It's a complex issue that raises questions about the balance between regulation and preserving the diverse landscape of gaming on Roblox offers. Germany, with its massive population of 83.2 million, is not exempt from loot box bans either. This means that a significant portion of the gaming community in Germany has to navigate around restrictions to enjoy their favorite Roblox titles. How is this impacting the gaming culture in one of Europe's gaming powerhouses? Now, let's shift our focus to individual countries facing bans for various reasons. Oman, with 4.5 million residents, faced a specific ban, possibly due to child safety concerns. The situation is still unclear, but it's evident that Roblox community in Oman has been affected. The UAE, with 9.3 million people, experienced a prolonged ban, initially stemming from currency-related issues. While the ban has been lifted, the struggles of these players shed light on the global connectivity challenges faced by Roblox enthusiasts. Jordan, with 11.5 million inhabitants, also faced a ban, adding to the global tally of players unable to access Roblox. The reasons behind Jordan's ban remain shrouded in mystery, leaving players in limbo. Guatemala, with 17.6 million residents, implemented a ban in 2021. The current status of this ban is uncertain, but it showcases the ever-evolving landscape of global gaming regulations impacting Roblox players. North Korea, with its unique political landscape, unsurprisingly has Roblox banned due to national security concerns. With 25 million people affected, it's a stark reminder of how geopolitical factors can impact online gaming communities. Saudi Arabia, with a population of 32 million, faced a temporary ban that has since been lifted. How did this ban influence the gaming habits of Saudi players, and what does it reveal about the challenges faced by the gaming industry in the region? China, with a staggering 1.4 billion people, doesn't have a direct ban on Roblox. Instead, players are required to use a specific version. However, this version was shut down, leading to a massive ban on accounts created through it. Now, Chinese players resort to VPNs to access Roblox, underscoring the impact of China's stringent gaming laws on the gaming giant. And there you have it, Slam Bloxers, the intricate web of global restrictions and bans affecting Roblox players across the globe. From loot box controversies to geopolitical factors, the challenges are diverse, impacting the gaming experiences of millions. What are your thoughts on these bans? Have you faced any restrictions in your country? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Until next time, keep slamming those bloxes and stay gaming.